Well, hello YouTube. I just saw that Shock of God, well, he now has a new name like www. I don't know, I don't care either all that much, but the guy Shock of God is subscribed to me. Well, you know, Shock, I didn't want to leave you feeling like you were, you know, <sighs> neglected. I didn't want to do that. I'm a nice guy, Shock of God. I'm one of those sweetheart atheists who everyone likes. So I thought I would make a statement to you, or reply to a number of your comments on many videos. I've watched several. I don't uh, comment on them or thumb up or thumb down because I don't comment specifically because you are like Venom Fang X. You delete comments. You censor your channel. So, um, nice work on that, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not even going into Venom Fang X just because that dude's been pwned into oblivion so many times that it's not even worth it. But to uh, several things you've said, Shock of God, and, um, well, let's get the big one out of the way. I know this is really old news, but hey, what the hell? I've got nothing better to do. Um, your challenge, prove atheism is true and accurate. I'm an atheist. I just proved it. You won't accept that proof, though, because that's not really what you're asking. You're asking prove that there is no God. Well, shock of God, um, here's a query to you. Could you give me proof that there is a God that I could not immediately counter with any other belief? Excuse me. Any other belief in a deity? Really, I mean, if I said I believe in Zeus, let's, for the purpose of argument, say I believe in Zeus, um, and I give you all these reasons, give me a reason which, for your belief, that I could not counter with my imaginary belief in Zeus. You can't do that, can you? I, I cannot prove Zeus in a way that you couldn't immediately counter with something I would use against you, you know, these texts, because there are texts written about Zeus. They're a little hard to come by because they were written way back when, before Christianity existed, you know, because uh, Christianity doesn't go back to the beginning of time, and sorry about that shock of God, uh, it dates back to the Roman era. Again, sorry, you know, it's because uh, your, your, your holy book isn't filled with truth. It has about as much truth as it does pizza. But any writings, I say, well, you can say, well, they, they know this isn't accurate, this isn't true. You know, that there are things which show that the Greek, that these things that the Greeks thought were because of Zeus were because of forces in nature. And I could counter you right back saying, well, all these things that your God could do according to the Bible could be countered by nature. You know, God made the world shake. We now know that's not true. We know about plate tectonics. And according to your book, God was responsible for the rain. I can prove that that's not true because we know about evaporation, condensation. We know about the weather. So, really, the only thing you could ever hope to prove with any reasons you would ever be able to give is the existence of a deistic God. Because that's the thing. You are asking me to prove there is no God. I can't do that. And I don't try. I don't believe there is because it's been shown by people like Stephen Hawking, the smartest man currently on this planet, that we don't need a God for the existence to come into being. But I cannot disprove the existence of a deistic God whose properties are up in the air. The Christian God, I can easily disprove. That, that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. So the only thing you could ever hope to prove with your belief in the Christian God is that there could be a God, a unknown, uncertain, Yes, properties God. 
Now, on to some of your other topics. You had a video where you were going on that the universe could only come into being from a natural way or a supernatural <coughs> Excuse me again. From a natural way or a supernatural way. How do you know that? Where's your proof of that? I mean, really, the universe could have come into being any number of ways. It could have been a supernatural being. It could have always existed in one form or another. It could have happened the way science right now has, the best theory of Big Bang. It could have had an existence from some force that we don't fully understand. It could have had any number of ways of coming into being. How is it that you came to the conclusion either it's a natural or a supernatural explanation behind the formulation of the universe? That's insane. And with the new theories of the multiverse and how that exists, then really all Christian arguments go out the window if multiverse is proven to be true. Because your entire argument from where I sit hinges on this universe being a closed system, not a congruent system merged with countless other universes all moving around in some kind of greater cosmos. Then you made the joke, you know, if you said to a 12-year-old, you know, that the universe came from a, a small pellet, they laugh at you. I take TJ's position, Shock. Um, my source is fucking Stephen Hawking, the smartest man currently on the face of fucking planet Earth. Kind of trumps your source. But hey, I'm being petty. Shock, the problem with you is that people like me, who are rational and reasonable, have tried to explain this. The atheist experience told you that your question's nonsensical. TJ told you that your question's nonsensical. Tooltime9901 told you your question's nonsensical. DPR Jones, Richard Coughlin, Thunderfoot, Zinnia Jones, lots of people. And you just go on and say, the amazing atheist says, wave the white flag. Yeah. You know, him and I are only going to wave one thing at you. It's this middle finger right here, Shock. Because the fact is that anybody who will ask a question and then ignore all valid responses that were given after careful consideration and careful planning and careful thought are not worthy responses. You subscribe to me, so now I pop my cherry on you. My first big pwnage. Because it's so easy to pwn all your beliefs. You go on, well, Christians were able to prove there's a God. You know, if that were the case, there wouldn't be so many atheists. And I can just almost hear your response. The devil made atheists. Because that's what he said. We're all the amazingly hellbound atheists. Shock, atheism is just a position that we don't believe in something. Just like theism is a position that you believe in something. And you can't prove theism. The same way I cannot prove atheism. They're, these are not terms that can be proven or falsified, you dumb motherfucker. So that's my response to you. You're just another stupid, crazy Christian fundy. That's all. Have a life. I don't care if it's miserable or happy. You don't interest me that much. My name is Lucian Maverick. To all the rest of you, peace out. May God be less.